I'm going to demonstrate trim region editing using this camera model here. As you can see, we've got some surfaces that need fixing. So first of all, I'm going to select this surface, right click and enter the trim region editing mode. And you can see we get this different toolbar here. I'm just going to go into the P-curve edit mode. You can see we get this P-curve toolbar. I'm going to zoom in to this bit here, select my P-curve and then select this point here. And I'm actually just going to move this point and snap it to the correct position there. And now I've fixed that front surface. Secondly, I'm going to fix this surface here. First of all, if I just control K, you see that we haven't got a boundary here, which is where we need to trim our surface. I'll show everything. How you do it normally would be to create a composite curve. I'm going to put a start point in and an end point. And trace a composite curve along here. I'll save that and eject. So if you weren't going to do this using trim region editing, you'd simply go to general edits, limit selection, and then delete that bit there. However, I'm just going to show a different way of doing this. So I'll close that and just undo that. So using my composite curve and the surface here, I'm just going to control K. I'm going to select my surface and I'm going to project. First of all, I need to turn on my trim region editing. I'm going to use this curve and project it as a P curve onto my surface. So I'll use the project mode. Select my composite curve to project onto my surface. Now I can delete my composite curve. You think it's disappeared, but you can see my boundary is actually created a P curve right here. So now what I can do is go to my boundaries menu, recreate, and say save and eject that. We've actually got the wrong solution there, so we want to keep this bit. So I'm going to say reverse the boundary. And we've trimmed that surface there without using the limit selection tool. The last surface that I need to fix is this one here. So I'm just going to control K, view it from the top. I'm going to right click and enter the trim region editing mode. And what I can do, if I go to my recreate, you can see my boundaries are already there. I could do it this way, creating two composite curves around there. But I'm actually going to show a different way of doing it. I'm going to go to my P-curve edit mode. I'm going to show you what you can do to P-curves. So I'll zoom into this part here. I'm going to select this P-curve. And we don't want it to extend to the end here. So what I'm going to do is select this point and delete it. So that outside circle is now fixed. I need to edit this one here. If I select this curve here, I'm just going to number the points on it so I know that this is the start of the curve. What I want to do is extend that P-curve. So I want to extend that the start of the P-curve and I want to extend by shortest route to a p-curve and I want it to extend to this p-curve here. So I'm going to say OK. Now what I can do is if I go to my boundaries mode, instead of doing recreate, I can select auto create and the work's done forwards. So I'm just going to control L to show everything. You can see we've got my finished camera model.